Hi, I'm Alex from NXP and I'm going to showcase the Zephyr BLE Mesh with NXP IMX RT 1050 demo. This demo is centered around the IMX RT 1050 with a RockTouch TFT LCD, which uh, plays a, a central role in the demo. We also have a KW38 board, we also have a KW41 board, as well as an open ISA board. This demo is centered around the uh, controlling the uh, RGB LEDs on the NXP boards by means of a mesh, a BLE mesh, that is created among all these devices. Since the BBC Microbit do not have a um, uh, colored LED, they will be uh, controlled only in intensity. And as such, what I'm going to show you is how you can actually create a, a product that has a the central uh, controller for the uh, RGB LEDs, as well as all the all the LEDs that uh, can can be used. All of the software is open source and can be readily downloaded from the upstream Zephyr OS uh, repository. Now I'm going to uh, select the KW41 board and I'm going to make uh, the RGB LED by means of PBM. I'm going to make it full red. As you can see it's red, I'm going to add a tint of blue and as you can see now it has changed to magenta. Now I'm going to select the Vega board and again I'm going to make it a full green and I'm also going to add a tint of blue. You can see that its color is now cyan. Now going back to the KW38 board, we're going to make it again a full blue and then let's just add a couple of uh, red and you can see it's a slightly less nuance of magenta. Now, as I said, for the BBC Microbit boards, we can only control the intensity and I'm going to light it fully up and the other boards I'm going to light them at uh, some random intervals. And this is the way they, they, they look. This is the, the demo that showcases the uh, Zephyr OS being run from very low powered uh, SOCs like the BBC Microbit with a couple of cases of SRAM and RAM and up to the more powerful ones like the RT1050 which allow them for the creation of a guide for controlling uh, stuff through a BLE mesh. Um, this is the demo, thank you very much for watching.